New this morning, an autonomous quiet vessel that's been traveling across the Great Lakes is back on dry land. Sail Drone's mission to gather data started back in June. Meteorologist Heather Brickett was there when the drone was recovered and explains how this data will be used. We're here in Charlevoix and on Wednesday we were fortunate enough to capture a sail drone being towed underneath the drawbridge after a long 58 days of collecting valuable data on the fish population in the Great Lakes. We got great, great quality data. It went in all the places that we needed it to. It's always subject to the wind availability. So if it's a windy day, it moves quickly. And if it's not windy, it doesn't. It doesn't have a propeller. And this bright orange 23 foot long vessel is only powered by wind and sun. Because it's quiet, it doesn't scare fish away. The noise has is, is been shown in other places to scare fish away from the place where we're trying to count them. So obviously there's a conflict there potentially. What Sail Drone offers is basically quiet operation and they can carry the same environmental sensors and sonar. So they can count fish with Sail Drone with the, in the absence of noise. Its voyage started in Charlevoix, spending time sailing in both Lake Michigan and Lake Huron before returning home. This is the first year we were able to access parts of Lake Huron that hadn't been accessed before with this technology. So, for instance, the North Channel is, uh, in, you know, tucked up there in northern Lake Huron. It's very hard to access through some very narrow channels. So we actually had to tow a sail drone into the North Channel. And the North Channel always has lots of fish in it. Sail drone also made its way to the Georgian Bay in Canadian waters. The big picture of this project is to better understand where prey fish are. We're really trying to improve our annual assessment work and, and what, what our annual assessments are, are every year now for uh, going on 50 years. We've been trying to monitor the status of prey fish, which is basically the food availability to predators in the lakes. And we're tr always trying to improve the way we do that. Sail Drone is gathering all this data for several agencies. This is a, a massive collaborative effort between U.S. Geological Survey and the Fish and Wildlife Service and the state of Michigan, the Ontario Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry and the Great Lakes Fishery Commission. And there's many, many individuals and scientists involved. Sail Drone and USGS are in year three of a four year long project of collecting valuable data on the Great Lakes. And they say they have even bigger plans for next year's project. In Charlevoix County, Heather Bricka, Up North Live News. Esselman says they're in a turning point in the project where the data will show whether Sail Drone gives them improvements over traditional vessel based data. In other